To animate the line thickness, we're going to use a script that already comes with Tumbo Harmony that's called TB Edit Line Thickness Over Time. And you're only able to see the changes on Render View. To see the scripting tab, right click over here and click on Scripting. After that, click on Manage Scripts to bring in the script we're going to use. Go into the search bar and look for Thick so you can filter the script we want. Click on TB Edit Line Thickness Over Time. Click on TB, edit line thickness over time over here as well. Select the script by the end of your list. Your icon will look different than mine, and that's because I made a custom one, but that's alright. Now press down Ctrl Alt and click and drag to select your rig. By holding down Ctrl Alt, you're selecting every node inside the rig to apply the script. Click on the script, click on adjust line art thickness over time, pick one slot for the function, in this case I'm picking line thick. Using the X sheet, we're going to animate the line thickness, so click on the plus icon and bring in your X sheet. Filter your X sheet to show only functions by clicking on this menu. Go into View, Column Types Manager, and only leave functions checked. Add a value according to each camera keyframe. When the camera is far away, you can use a small value, and for a close up, you can use a bigger value. Press Ctrl K to interpolate between the keyframes, so your outline is animated according to your camera movement. Now, let's create a slider to adjust your rig line thickness to save time in the production. There are usually two types of sliders, one with fixed values, so it can be consistent with the cameras you might use, and one that interpolates, so you can pick the best thickness as you go. In order to create the sliders, we're going to set three different keyframes, in this case from frame. 11 to 13 and then on your rig select the range in your timeline and click on slider wizard if you don't see it then right click over here and click on master controllers for the slider with fixed values we're going to leave interpolate between poses unchecked click on create choose where you're going to create it click ok now you give it a name save it to the script folder in your scene and close the slider wizard window in this case, I'm connecting my camera pack to the master controller, but only so my camera is not affecting it. You guys don't need to do this part. Now, you can use this slider with those line thickness values to match your camera. And finally, to create a slider with interpolation, it's pretty much the same. Except, you leave interpolation checked when creating the slider. And now, you're free to choose any line thickness as you go. I hope this video was clear, but if you have any questions, just let me know. Bye!